So you're going to work, but you don't have time to head over to Bellahor's and grab that spare carrot he has sitting around. You want to have that finna energy, but you haven't the time to scoop up some spuds and make an Irish stew. Nazim's annoying you, but you really just aren't feckin' having it today. Well, look no further, me lads and lassies, as I'm sticking me neck out for you, becoming a bit of a chancer to help you bunk off that big meal you don't want. So let's get a crack on it, showing you how to do the simple, easy thing to solve all of your problems without completely banjaxing your day, and that is to stay away from the beers and go around eating up your peers. <laughs> now, of course, it would help if you were a bit sloshed and just a wee bit fluttered, but with just a quick glance, Nazim won't be acting the Egypt much longer now because, like a spice bag, you're going to eat him, you dosser. Now the quest we are doing a bit of inspecting into today is the Taste of Death quest, which up until about a week ago on a stream I forgot existed. I'm pretty sure up until I made this video, I've only finished it once, ever. And that is quite disappointing for someone like me who is just a Skyrim expert you all come to for help and security. I feel I've let you down, but look no further, as I have a great apology ready for all of you, ready to go in this here gaff, my eek the liar, cooking you some fresh meals and I hope you know how mortified I am feeling towards all of you for forcing you to have to look upon this man cat who isn't quite the full shilling I have to say and that is no lie but like all other Skyrim quests in this game you are going to want some sort of guidance towards whether or not this quest fits your characters morals or playstyle and well I'm here to direct you in whatever way you deem natural the quest does have two sides to it thankfully and while I took a week away from discord and such there is now a new channel on it dedicated to video ideas and I've chosen the prophet vid here because well, I'm a nice guy like that. So like the title says, this quest also gives you the option of being a cannibal in Skyrim. It's also the only way to do it in this specific Bethesda game. And well, I know some of you enjoy feasting on, uh, flesh. I hope not anyway. Ew. So I should inform you quickly of who the glorious Namira is and what exactly she is a Daedric Prince of because we all know it ain't going to be the feckin' Prince of Sunshine and Butterflies because none of these guys are feck's sake. So, Namira is the Daedric Prince of Dark, Sundry, and Shadowy Spirits, which is definitely not related to the Daedric Prince of Sunshine and Butterflies. I so totally wish that was a thing, though. They would shoot rainbows and... Uh, <laughs> never mind. But she is pretty gosh feckin' evil, and people like to associate her with spiders, insects, slugs, and any sort of repulsive creature that makes you throw up in your mouth just a little bit. Bit disgusting. The Wood Elves probably love her too, because because she oversees all the good meat licking, aka uh, cannibalism, my friends. Hide your children, because you never know who Nazim might be targeting next when he gets a bit peckish up there in the feckin' cloud district. Hi. She was in Oblivion too, and you could do a quest for her in that game, but we are so totally focused on this game. Wow, don't you just love the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim? Like, oh my god. That was my attempt at relating to you on some sort of level. But anyway, the summoning date for her is the night of second seed and if you look like a slow she'll take you trust me she don't like attractive people so go find a cliff jump off it and make sure to land on your face first okay good the same artifact is in both games the infamous ring of namira which trust me if you like yourself a good high dose of non-vegan orc pee pee then this is absolutely the artifact you want to be putting on your little finger you dumb looking stupid prick so go to markard go to markard and head straight for the hall of the dead can you do that are you capable of doing even that my God, why am I here? Seriously. Anyway, go there and that's where we will start the quest to help you take off in the meat industry. The taste of death. It really makes you hungry <laughs> for more quests, doesn't it? <laughs> and what better way to start it than to look at your future foreseeable victim of the plate, Virulus, who sits in the Hall of the Dead in Markard, just like I told you. But if you don't want to pretend like you already know where the quest is and you are playing a fresh character who enjoys learning about things the hard way, 
then go ask about rumours in the local pubs in Markar. And them feckers will tell you that the Hall of Dead has been closed and this means nobody can see their dead relatives or in your case the victims of Markar who got in your way you pretentious masochist you. Ferulis who is the priest of Arche in Markar found some of the dead bodies to be a wee bit defiled which isn't anything abnormal for you but for the weird normal people of Markar it's, it's pretty weird but everybody hates him because of this. You can get more information out of Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn about Verulus, and if that doesn't work because you have weak speech, you just find him yourself. I'm sure there's a compass marker for the quest I can't remember. It's been a few days since I did the quest. It's probably in the footage I took on screen. But that's the beginning of the quest, which never really changes. You just have to get to the Hall of Dead and find Verulus. Now I will go into some detail on both of the choices, and let's start with the one where you don't receive a badass ring which lets you feckin' eat Nazem. Seriously, who plays this game like a hero? When you get to the Hall of the Dead, Priesty Boy will be arguing with non spice by gloving Thongvor Silverblood. You know, that family who isn't corrupt and everyone loves to the bone? Anyway, they are arguing over something medial. You don't care. Trust me, you are here to do the usual boring Skyrim stuff. And bribe him if you're in a rush. Persuade him if you're one of them weirdos who actually puts points into speech, you weirdo, you. Or if you are feeling kind of angry about that cup of tea that went cold on you, you can always nudge him a bit with your fists. I am very angry for some unknown reason, but do one of them and he will let you down into the hall of the dead. Once you get down the stairs, you will be confronted by the weirdo here on screen, Eola, who has the same name as Ayla, but it now has the first two letters replaced with different vowels. The heck type of name is Eola. Jesus. She will reveal she supports Namira and she's been the one eating these corpses. Have you no shame? Woman, you make us fellow cannibals look bad. Go eat some fresh, not jogger. Dear God, this is actually ugh, nasty stuff. Ugh. But let's say you're listening to her talk and her voice trails off into the back of your mind as you start thinking of beating up my eek, which makes you feel calm inside and really, really relaxed for some strange but nice reason. <sighs> But anyway, once she's done babbling on the quest, Taste of Death starts, and before it even finishes telling you on screen you are going to press the tilde key, click her, type kill in the console command, and boom, quest failed. Yeah boy, go report your war screech back to Priesty Boy and he will thank you for making Markard a safer place, and reward you with an amulet of arcade. Oh boy, I always wanted an amulet of arcade. My hopes and dreams have been fulfilled. So this time, let's say you don't console command her to death. The quest will start and she will get up and turn invisible like every normal human and waltz on out of there like it's nobody's business and wait for you in Reachcliff Cave, where the next step in your dinner reservations will take place, my friends. When you get there, this coward will ask you to feck and wipe out the drogger inside and you're going to do it because you're everybody's bitch, you bitch. You can ask her to follow you through, which defeats the purpose of my insult towards her, but like, shut up, this is my video. I do what I want. Once the cave is clear, Ebola here will thank you and ask you to feast with her in the name of victory. Remember when I foreshadowed you eating Verulus earlier? Well, bang, you gotta go lead him to this nice and cozy cave where you are going to feast on him as part of your initiation into becoming the Venus flytrap you always dreamed of. She also gives you 100 gold for expenses, but like, the hell does 100 gold buy you in Skyrim? I could earn that by sleeping. Go convince Verulus with the crappy dialogue you were given to follow you back and make sure you don't have a follower on you. Get rid of Lydia. I've told you guys about taking her with you. When you return with this troglodyte there will be another cannibal waiting with another cannibal and there's another few there's a few cannibals really important people you know like Sanyon here Lizbeth and Hogney Redarm who aren't in any particularly named order here I just said names randomly they are that is actually their names but I just I, I don't care we don't care they're not important they're not important at all somehow Ebola convinces troglodyte to lie on the altar and then you have to go kill him and boom you win Namira will speak to you ever so slowly like all the others speech impediment princes in this game. She will grant you the Reign of Namira, which is actually pretty cool. I have to say now, definitely doesn't beat a nice cup of tea, but it's up there with the biscuits, you know? It allows you to eat dead bodies, and this gives you plus 50 health and plus 50 stamina while giving you health regeneration which lasts for around 5 minutes. So it's pretty neat, definitely better than the skull of uh, corrupt uh, shit. It's, just, it's shit, it's, it's not even good, like I, I get more damage out of 
the fork. It sucks. But before eating troglodyte here, you could always do something even edgier than joining a reclusive cannibal cult. You can turn and uh, kill the reclusive cannibal cult, which will cause the quest to fail, of course, but this time troglodyte will give you a level of gold and head back to Markard, but you can then loot all the dead cannibals for some nice freaking loot. You won't get the ring though, but that's pretty much all there is to the quest, so where would this suit a playstyle in this game? Well, obviously, don't use it if you are a good character because you have to do bad things to get a bad object. Duh. But if you are super evil and you like Namira, do this quest and use it then. And if you just want a nice, shiny, clinky ring, then do this quest. It really isn't a tough choice to make. I don't care enough about Chocolate to want to save him, but I also don't care about Ebola because I know them both for less than five minutes, so whatever, man. I'd say get the ring. This video is titled How to Become a Cannibal, isn't it? But anyways, my guys and girls, thank you for sticking by and watching this video. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I am still here, and I do still want to bring about some awesome content for you guys to watch and enjoy, so make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and a dislike if you didn't. Either way, ratings help out my channel, and they let me know if you thought highly of the video. Also, share the video with your fellow Elder Scrolls friends, leave some suggestions and comments for me to read. I do love reading your guys' comments. They fill me with hope, misery, and a little bit of joy. Sometimes. But make sure to follow my social Social links in the description. Follow my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and all that other good stuff. I'm working on some big videos, and I am really looking forward to showing you guys and girls what they are. As always, though, enough babbling. I hope your day is filled with festivities and chocolate. God, I love chocolate. And I will see you feckers next time. Peace, bitches.